How's it going, YouTube? It is Dr. Golly bringing you Dr. Golly episode 21, and I'm joined by a special guest today, One Shot White Boy, or AKA Essential. What up, guys? So, he actually just bought an HD PVR, and he's going to be posting YouTube videos very, very soon. So, if you want, go into the description of this video. His YouTube channel name is One Shot White Boy, and he'll be posting videos really, really soon. So, this gameplay in the background is actually me using the P90 on MW3, and in my opinion, this gameplay is just completely beastly because I got on MW3 for the first time in like two weeks and then I get a freaking Moab in a pretty crazy gameplay. So I hope you enjoy the gameplay and we're going to get into this first question. So, Essential, you have the first question. Read that off. Alright guys, this is, uh, this is a question submitted by Clarence Park. It is, my parents got me baptized in Bosley and ever since then I can't stop this uncontrollable hair growth all over my body. What can I do to stop this? Well Clarence, uh, I would invest in a pocket sized lawnmower and then uh, maybe, some, maybe some wax and when you get that wax, uh, I'd recommend waxing your body every three to four hours and uh... Or, or what you could do is Maybe if you wanted to go to the beach this summer, since it is still summer, you could style your chest hair in a smiley face with that pocket size lawnmower. That was a great idea, Golly. That, that would definitely work out. Alright, so next question. Hey, Golly, I really need your help. My parents are complete assholes. If I don't do what they say, they turn off the internet and the electricity in my room. Also, I have to pay for my own phone bill, but I don't get any pocket money. Please help me. Well, dude, you just gotta stand up for yourself and stop being their little bitch and just tell them that you're done taking their shit. And every time that your dad turns off the power, you can just go down to the breaker. Downstairs, it's what the breaker is. It's where electricity comes into the house. And you can just turn the breaker back on for your room. And then, ta-da, you have electricity again. Dear Dr. G, one day on MW3, I got mad at a camper. He killed me. So I got mad and threw my PS3 remote at my TV. And my dad and mom found out, so they beat my ass with the HDMI cord. And they <laughs> said that I couldn't play the game until November. Bye, Charlie Loves PSN. Well, it could be worse. I mean, if you had the component cables instead of the HDMI, you would have been getting your ass beat with five cables instead of one. So it would have been a lot more painful, so just look at it as a win for you. And uh, the thing is, Black Ops 2 comes out in November, and that's when, the, that's when you get your PS3 privileges back. So you'll be playing the next Call of Duty. Don't be worrying about that. So uh, just take a break. Enjoy life until you play PS3 again. Alright, so this is, uh, hey Dr. Golly. So yesterday I walked into my dad's room and saw him having gay sex with what appeared to be a male prostitute. He didn't see me, so what the fuck do I do? Alright, well kid, I would blackmail him. Wait until something happens that you probably would frown upon, like getting grounded or maybe getting your video game privileges taken away or something, and, uh, just ask him how that male prostitute was and if, any, if he wants anybody to find out. Hey, Dr. Golly, I'm 12 years old, and a fat girl crushed me on the bus, and I shit my pants and got made fun of. Please help. Well, if you don't want to track fat girls that sit on you, make sure you don't have any food with you when you get on the bus, or else they'll get pissed when you don't share with them. Also, make sure you're equipped with the pens, aka adult diapers, just in case you have to shit your pants again. I'm having a problem when I always rage. I break my controller. I love to play MW3, though. I like the gameplay and the maps. My mom says if I break two more controllers, I won't get any more. Can you help me, Dr. Golly? Well, uh, first off, controllers are pretty expensive, so stop breaking them. My opinion on that rule, it's stupid as shit. Uh, what kind of rule is that? You break two more controllers and you won't get any more. You shouldn't, you shouldn't get any more after you break one more. Yeah. Just stop raging, kid. Dear Dr. Golly, a week ago I woke up feeling weird. I looked down and my mom was giving me a BJ. It was really good. <laughs> Every day since then, my mom has gave me BJ's when I wake up. What do I do? P.S. I'm only 15. First off, you're trolling, nigga. <laughs> but if you're not, keep on getting that dick sucked, homie. That's my advice to you. Nothing wrong with some BJ's. Dear Dr. Gull, you have to answer. So the other day, me and some students were going to the beach, but there wasn't enough seats in the car, so we had to sit on each other's laps. This hot girl had to sit on my lap. Her ass was so fucking amazing, so I popped a boner, and she let out a loud orgasm, and everyone was laughing. She hates me, and people call me Butt Raper and Boner Boy. Please help, thanks. Well, just tell people that make fun of you that you're just jelly, that your boner didn't get all up in that. I have a problem. I was riding my bike with my friend, and we were picking up cans in the trash, and we saw Playboys, and I didn't know what to do with them, so I took them and put them with my game informer. What should I do with them? You can just reread the answer. 
First thing I want to know, why the fuck did you take him home if you didn't know what your intentions were with him? But anyhow, if I was in your situation, I'd definitely hide him in my dad's shit somewhere <laughs> and uh, just let my mom find him. Or, or the question that I have for you is, why are you digging in trash cans for soda cans? I mean, that's not really a get rich or die trying scheme while you're getting his five cents every time. So if you're trying to make some dough, that's definitely not the way to go. I completely agree. Um, bro, I need to ask you something. Fuck you, stop making YouTube videos, you fucking loser. Get on with yo mada fucking loof beach. Well, first things first, you sound queer as a $2 bill. Second off, go back to third grade because you obviously have problems with grammar. And third, don't hate me because you ain't me. Next question. My opinion on all the haters for golly... I completely agree with Golly's answer. You guys should just uh, stop hating on all his success and maybe watch his videos. You know you're subscribing to him, so you don't gotta hide. You don't gotta. You don't gotta be a little girl over the internet. I mean, come see us, pussies. Dear Dr. Golly, I'm 14 and go to high school. I have recently moved, so I have no friends either. I am a big baseball fan, but am shy when I just meet people. And then my comedic side comes out. I feel like I won't be accepted in high school, and I'm really worried. Is there some way to put myself at ease, or will you have to be stuck up? Or, or will or will I have to suck it up until school starts? Your bro, James. Well, the reason I picked this question first of all is because I feel like it's going to apply to a lot of people since school's starting back up soon. And my advice to you is to just be yourself and stop stressing about it. Don't go into school trying to be the most popular motherfucker ever, and just try to find a solid group of friends that have stuff in common with you and like you for who you are. And if you're trying to find friends, don't try to be fake, because that's just the worst way to find friends that aren't going to be your true friends, and they're just going to be fake assholes to you. Real talk. What's up, Dr. G? My mom and dad has been asking me to lose weight. How do you lose 50 pounds by the way I am 16? Okay, so this is kind of ironic because when I was 16, I was a little chunky, not going to lie. I, I was... I think 40 pounds obese, not obese, chubby. I was like 160 pounds and I'm only like, I was only like five foot three last year. And now I'm 17 by the way and I thinned out. But the thing that I did to start losing weight was you gotta first cut back on junk food and stuff. You gotta take soda and chips and fast food out of your diet. Those are the three main things that I had to cut. I don't know what you eat normally, but that's what I had to cut myself. Um, Basically, you got to start doing more exercise like if you're fat more than likely you don't commit yourself to running on a treadmill or going outside every day I'm not calling everyone that's fat unathletic or no life or anything I'm just saying that if you do go outside for maybe an hour a day It's not hard to Lose that weight, you know, so you gotta the steps are dieting and exercise if you combine those two You'll be losing weight now you but you can't do one without the other you can't exercise without eating right because eating right is 60% of it and exercise is the other 40%. So if you combine those two together, you're going to see results. And if you want more motivation and stuff to do it, maybe get a friend that's a little out of shape too and you could become workout partners because that's what me and my friend did and we started going to the gym together every day and pushing each other and it worked out pretty good. So that's my advice to you. What would you do for your subs if you had 100k? Well, I haven't really thought about it a whole lot yet because I'm not close to that amount of subscribers yet. But as the time nears, I'll start thinking about it more and more, and I'm sure I'll think of an epic idea. When I hit 100k, you'll see what happens. Dr. G out. Peace, niggas. Squad, get ready for the next job.